हेलो एवरीबडी सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू इन द सीरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर एंड आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज एड्रेसिंग मोड्स सो एड्रेसिंग मोड्स टेल अस द लोकेशन ऑफ द डेटा ऑन विच वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द ऑपरेशन एंड दे प्रोवाइड एक्सेस टू द मेमोरी एंड दे अलाउ ईजी एक्सेस टू द वेरिएबल्स एरे रिकॉर्ड्स पॉइंटर एंड अदर डेटा विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन आर प्रोग्राम सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इंस्ट्रक्शन इट इज बेसिकली ऑफ टू पार्ट्स दैट इज ऑपकोट एंड अ ऑपरेंट ऑपकोट टेल्स अस दैट what operation we have to perform on the data and operand tells us that on which data we have to perform the operation and whereas addressing mode tells us the location of our operands that from where cpu has to fetch the operand and perform the operation on them so there are various modes in which we can get the location of the operand and that are known as addressing modes so here are some important terms that is the starting address this is the starting address of actually the memory segment then we have effective address so the actual and exact address of our operand is known as effective address then we have displacement displacement is the value by which we have to increment the uh, program counter according to the given situation we have two types of uh, special purpose registers that is base and index we denote them with the bx and bp and si or di respectively we will get to know the clarity on these terms uh, better when we will use them in the addressing mode so let's start with the first addressing mode that is the implied mode so in this mode the operand is declared within the instruction itself that is here for example we can see that the instruction is clc which means reset carry flag right so here we do not have any uh, other operand apart from the instruction so implied mode consist the operand within itself instruction itself next one is immediate addressing mode in immediate addressing mode the operand or the data on which we have to perform the operation is available in the instruction itself as in for example we have move al 35h so we have to move the data 35h h here stands for the hexadecimal into the al register so the operand is 35 in the hexadecimal form only so immediate addressing provides us the operand in the instruction next is the register mode so we get the operand or the data in the register any of the register it can be the general purpose register or a special purpose register that will be mentioned in the instruction as in here you can say that see that uh, move ax cx so it means that we have to move the content contents of the cx register to the ax register so Uh, as uh, the name suggest we will get the operand in the register only next we have register indirect mode so here with register we have used the term indirect which means that first we have to access to one register 
from where we will get the effective address that is the actual address of the operand and then we will refer to that effective address to get the data so basically here we have to for, uh, get the first reference from the register then from that address we will refer to the memory to that particular address and then we will fetch the data and we will perform the operation here as you can see that we have used the square brackets in the example move ax bx so square brackets refer to the indirect addressing mode we will get the effective address in the bx register and on that effective address we will get our data next is auto indexed increment mode actually auto indexed uh, addressing mode has uh, two variations one is increment mode and another one is uh, decrement mode so this particular one is auto indexed increment mode in which uh, whatever uh, register is uh, mentioned we will fetch the memory reference of that register and we will increment it by one as here uh, you can see that if the register r2 is containing 1000 then we will increment it by one and the memory address will then become 1001 and we will get our operand on the memory address 1001 so it is auto indexed increment mode that whatever we have the data we have to increment it by one and that will be our effective address and from that effective address we will get the operand next one is auto index decrement mode exactly opposite of the increment mode here we have to decrement like uh, let's say we have 1002 in the register r2 then we will decrement it by 1 and again we will get 1001 as the effective address and at the location memory location 1001 we will have our data on which we have to perform the operation next one is direct addressing or absolute addressing mode where in this instruction we will get the effective address and from that effective address we will fetch our data here you can see that the instruction is add al 0301 so here in the memory we will have one location as uh, 0301 from where we will get the data and we will add it to the AL register. We have indirect addressing mode. Here what will happen that in register indirect addressing mode we were getting the data from the uh, register we were getting the effective address from the register and then we were referring to that effective address for the data here we will get have to uh, do two memory references to fetch the data as you can see that we are getting one memory address as 1001 then we will go to the 1001 we will get another memory address from there that is 1020 and 1020 is the effective address and on the location 1020 we will get our data next is register indirect we have already covered it that in the instruction we will get one register reference from that register we will get another memory address and then from that memory address we will fetch the operand here the uh, memory representation of the memory indirect register that from the instruction we will get one memory address on that memory address we will again get one memory address that will be our effective 
address and from that effective address we will fetch the operand so these are the memory representation of the two addressing modes which we have studied next is the indexed addressing mode so in the indexed addressing mode effective address is calculated by adding some value to the uh, value of the indexed register and that value is known as the displacement value so here in the example you can see that we have instruction add 20 ri comma r2 so ri whatever uh, is the name of the register and if it contains i in its name that means it is the index register so what we will do that we will go to the index register ri we will add 20 to its value let's suppose it is containing ri is containing 1000 then we will add 20 to it then we will get the effective address and r2 is the another uh, register which is containing the effective address so the uh, 1020 and 2000 both are our memory location or we can say the effective address we will refer to these address to fetch the data that is uh, here you can see that at the 1020 we have stored 300 and at the 2 thousand memory location we have stored 200 and then we will perform the addition on them so this is the indexed addressing mode next we have based indexed addressing mode in this effective address is the sum of base register and the index register in the last addressing mode that is index addressing mode we were just adding some value to the indexed register but here we have to do the addition that is we have to perform one arithmetic operation on the uh, register content and then we will get the effective address here you can see that bp is the base register and si is the index register so we will add their content to get the effective address that is we have got 150 here then on 150 memory location we will get the effective address that is 20 so final instruction will become move al comma 20 that we have to move 20 to the register al next is our relative or pc relative addressing mode this we will understand with the example let's suppose we have uh, the command jnz which stands for jump if non-zero so this is the conditional uh, statement actually which says that if if we are uh, getting non-zero value then we have to jump and we will jump 8 bits so whatever will be the uh, content of my program counter we have to add 8 on that let's suppose program counter contains the address of the next instruction to be executed and if we have come across this command jnz that is jump if non zero then whatever will be the content of the program counter we will add 8 bit to that and uh, we will move to that particular location next that is 1008 to have the next instruction so this is what the relative or the pc relative addressing mode in this we calculate the address with reference to the program counter or the instruction pointer that's why we call it a pc relative addressing mode next is the base register addressing mode in this mode we implement inter segment transfer of control that is we have to if transfer control in another segment within the program then we use the base register addressing mode so effective address in this addressing mode is calculated by 
adding some address field value to the base register and then we get the effective address here in the example you can see that move al comma bp plus 0100 so whatever will be the uh, containing of the base register we will add 0100 to that to get the effective address then we will fetch the operand and we will move its content to the register a here we have the summary of all the addressing modes so you can get all these nodes on the website that is www.nargeshgupta.com and also if you like the uh, video lectures and you want us to continue the series please uh, comment you can also post your comment uh, post your doubts in the comment section we will try to answer them uh, as soon as we can so thank you everyone